Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Hey, we're back to break another story. Atlanta Black Star broke it out. A ball of confusion. It's just a ball of confusion. On this subject with R. Kelly, his team, his uh, crisis manager. Don't know where they picked him up at. Don't know if he has a GED. Lesser than a GED? I don't know, honey. Got R. Kelly can't read and write. Then he got somebody representing him that don't know how to tell it how it is or to tell a lie. Just a clout chase. I don't know that somebody pay him off or they just wanting to have a mistrial of some sort. I don't know what's going on, but this brother retract his story. Yesterday, he was saying that he wouldn't even let R. Kelly come near his daughter, sit by his daughter, or leave him with his daughter. Now, he come back today, come up with a girl, uh, chopped up my words. It was a recorded interview, and just then the third, and I ain't mean to say that. I was tricked. I was I was like, man, you're supposed to be on point. You're supposed to be a crisis manager. You're supposed to be a, pub a publicist that go out and speak for your client. You're supposed to be engaging, interacting, telling truth, or the side you want to present to the public to have sympathy in the uh, public realm, in public opinion, okay? Oh, Gail King came and shook the table. Hell, she shook the whole house and flattened it just like a twirling tornado, okay? A point seven? No, that's an earthquake. So I don't know what's the L five, F six. I said that's the finger of God. That's the true wrath. That's Armageddon. That's oop. The word has ended. Lord, this man had come and said, "I, I, hey, <laughs> I was wrong. I know my job is gone." Gail King done came and shook the table on my behind. my behind. I'm confused the hell out of me. I don't know if those girls want to be there or not. I don't know. I guess they're okay. Hell, what, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Gail was shaking the roof off the house, okay? Confused them all, Gail did. Yes, she did. She confused Kelly when she was up there interviewing him. He had got up, stood up like he was uh, singing out a proclamation or something and giving him a thesis or he was being Shakespeare up there. I don't know. And then broke down into crime. What kind of acting was that? Woo, poor performance. But, hey. A ball of confusion is what this man is giving us. We don't know if to take him serious or not. I don't. I don't. I can't. I won't. <laughs> Mistrial. Okay, let's do this all over again. I don't know if these ladies will ever have justice, but when you got a publicist out there saying what he's saying with one of these parents, okay, and R. Kelly doing what he was doing on that, that's just a pub in public opinion. They all have been tried and found guilty in my eyes. Every last one of them. <laughs> Even the judge just listening to the case. That's how I feel about it. All of them need to go to jail, including the judge, the jury, and everybody else. Because it's already been tried in public opinion. And this brother is not going to get off. I'm sorry. He's going to be like a little OJ running around now. Don't say it. I can't say if OJ did or not. But I think he had some idea of what was going to go down. And he didn't warn nobody. Okay. Now, that's just my part intended. My uh, commentary. But let's get into this article that Atlanta Black Star wrote about this thing. Because, honey, in the public eye, we all confused. We don't know what the truth is anymore. Okay. All right. Because what they presented to us, I tell you. It's worth questioning. Because <laughs> if little babies don't understand what's going on, Kevin Hart don't understand what's going on. Shoot, child. This, the, it, it, uh, okay, let's just go on to see what uh, Atlanta Black Star Daryl Nelson had to put in his work for Atlanta Black Star commentary or uh, newscast of a magazine, okay, or social media website, blog, whatever. However, you want to get down with it. All right, we have as a title, Are You Serious? R. Kelly Rep expands his backtracking since saying he would not leave daughter with single. Yes, he did, y'all. Yesterday, meaning the 23rd, broke the records, trended on all social media platforms, all in the headlines. He said he wouldn't leave his daughter. Uh-uh, no way, no how. Not going to happen in this day and time with R. Kelly or in the presence of R. Kelly, okay? Now, the 24th, which is uh, Wednesday, he's going to re retract everything, backtrack. He, he back 
telling pussy popping it all around the world. Uh, saying, no, I didn't mean to say that. No, uh, but see, your job was already, your job was already in question when you sat up there and had the interview with Gail King. Time I know you wouldn't do it. Or CNN or whoever you had did it first with initially. So you had already thrown your career representing R. Kelly in the trash, okay? You weren't coming back from that, and nobody else will probably want you to represent them either. Not with these antics that you're giving. You wish you're watching. You're double-minded. You're unstable, brother, Daryl Johnson. Ah, oh, I'm so, I am just embarrassed to have you named after me, okay? Because I'm a Johnson too, but it's just easy what it is, okay? Everybody can't be good Johnsons. Everybody can't be fortified, prosperous, and put together such as myself. But okay, we're going to move on. We're going to go strictly with the article, okay? Again, that title from Atlanta Black Star, Daryl Nelson put the article out or wrote the article. His title was, Are You Serious? R. Kelly Rep expands his backtracking sense, saying he would not leave daughter, his own daughter, that is, with single. Okay, it says R. Kelly, apparently former crisis manager Daryl Johnson, continues to change his tune about whether he'll leave his 21-year-old daughter with the embattled singer. Johnson also went to detail about why he stepped down as one of Kelly's team members. On Monday, Johnson was a co-host or a guest on CBS this morning, and co-host Gail King asked if he'll leave his own daughter with the 52-year-old considering the charges Kelly is looking at, okay? Kelly's facing in Illinois state charges as well as federal charges in Chicago and New York that include sexual misconduct, child pornography, enticement of a child, and obstruction of justice. He currently, He's currently behind bars at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Chicago, and last week a judge ordered him to remain locked up, cluck clank, on the down, okay? On the down low, no coins, no uh, phone calls, nothing. You can't even, whoop, you probably don't even have one to look out of after denying his bond, okay? I would not leave my daughter. Let's say that again. I would not leave my daughter with anyone that's accused of being a pedophile, Johnson told King. All right, I would not. He didn't repeat those words after King called that decision, a contradiction. All right, Shay, that's right. Get on them, King. You can't say one thing this day and then change it up the next day. It just don't work like that in society, man. You should know that as a crisis manager. You have to tell your lie. You have to stick with that lie from the time you tell it to the time the subject matter is over with, okay? And then afterwards. Then afterwards, okay? Take it to the grave with you, all right? That was my pun intended, not written in this article. Moving on, it says... Then hours later, after Johnson walked back, that response and said he should have worded it better. He told U.S. Today that he was stepping down as Kelly's crisis manager for personal reasons. Now they fired you, man. They asked you. They put the uh, no return, don't pass, go, put you in jail in a sense. Demotion. Okay, they fired you. Just going to say what it is. You got fired, man. You had the loose lips. You had the loose lips. You got in your own type of uh, thinking, and it wasn't contrary to what you needed to be saying. So, yeah, you just messed up, mm, fouled out, flag on play. Okay, that was my pun intended, not in that article. Moving back to the article, it said uh, he was stepping down for personal reasons. Johnson also said he absolutely would leave his daughter with the singer. Now, he's backtracking, pep, uh, pussy popping, and uh, backpedaling, okay, as they say on the YouTube street. All right. Uh, yeah, he said no. Now he would leave <laughs> after he had to second guess himself and people had to, uh, what do you call it, put him in check in a sense after firing him, of course. But you just don't go against the grain. You just don't go against the grain. If we say it's blue, you say it's blue. You don't say it's light blue. You don't say it's baby blue. You don't say it's midnight blue. You don't say it's royal blue. You say it's blue. Okay? And then keep it with that. Okay? But he didn't do that, y'all. He didn't do that. Moving back to the article, he said, uh, yeah, I would absolutely, I would absolutely would leave his daughter with the singer because I do not believe he is a pedophile. Next, in a video published by TMZ on Wednesday, Johnson offered more details about his reasoning or reasons for quitting. 
a decision he reportedly has yet to tell Kelly about, at least not directly. But he have to say it directly because it came down from the top. <laughs> like the top of the totem pole you gone your service is no longer needed uh turning your badge everything okay you will not be with the company anymore we didn't need to tell r kelly we're his team <laughs> we talked for him okay it's just like that charlie uh, uh what is it charlie angels when they don't really see charlie they don't know who charlie is but they got uh bowser as their sidekick bowser have seen charlie but he don't uh let the angels know anything about that okay so that's how it is. Uh, how, that's how it is with our Kelly's team. You don't never see who's pulling all the strings, who's making all the decisions, who's saying go, come, leave. You know, you don't see all that. Okay, it's just a voice <laughs> in the air making all these decisions. Okay, so no, our Kelly, he would know about now, but he didn't know at a particular time that uh this guy, Mr. Johnson, wasn't gonna be his publicist, his spokesperson any longer. My pun intended. Now, written in this article, let's get back to the article. It said, uh, I had some personal issues back at my home town, stated Johnson. I decided at this particular time that it was best to step away. One of my family members is on their deathbed right now, and I'm going to attend to that. Now, I can't say, now this is my pun intended, not in this article, whether or not it's a death really going on in the man's family. It's probably his death, the death of his career. It can't be resurrected. There will not be any past go <laughs> no he's in jail all right pretty much and i don't know why he want to go to his small hometown because they're gonna know about it it's global you know what i'm saying once you hit cnn status it's global it's all the way around the world they're gonna know who you are they're gonna know what you look like and they're gonna always look at you with a ball of confusion on their face like how much did they pay you how much did you uh get paid to flip-flop uh, are you confused? <laughs> Do you need some therapy? Do you know what's going on? Are you a part of the conspiracy? Yeah, all of those things are going to be coming at you now because you're not stable. You're double-minded. You go here, you go there. However the weather is traveling, you're going to go with it. Who's the winning team? You're going to go with that. You know what I'm saying? Ah, bad choice, bad choice. Our, our, our Kelly team, bad choice. Moving back to the article, it says um, Johnson then talked about the CBS this well, well, Johnson then talked about the CBS interview, I guess, this morning. Yep, this morning interview. And the comment he made about leaving his daughter with Kelly. He explained the interview was pre-recorded and suggested it couldn't it could have been edited better, but the crisis manager said he holds no ill will towards King of the network. Well, how could you hold them accountable? Those were your words. I mean, she strictly asked you a question. You were not, obliga ugh, not obligated to answer, but you did. You're a crisis manager. You're well equipped for these type of circumstances, situations, and questions. Okay, you're supposed to know. You're supposed to know all of this. They need a refund. You need to refund them all the money that you've gotten to become, or, you know, speaking on behalf of Mr. R. Kelly, because... No, <laughs> you didn't do your job. You did not follow your job description. Nothing to that fact showed that you knew what you were talking and doing, man. Okay, moving back to the article, it, has, it says, I have nothing against Gail King, CBS, neither them nor, uh, I guess he's not holding nobody accountable, which he, how are you going to hold everybody accountable? You didn't take accountability of your own actions or your words or your speaking ability. Please, man, sit down. But he goes on to say, I have nothing against Gail CBS, nothing at all, he stated. I just think when you do a tape interview, it can be chopped up and my words are my words. If I had to do it again, I would 1000% leave my daughter, which this is not what this is about with Mr. Kelly. If I had to leave, I believe at the end of the day, he will be acquitted. Okay. But we, you, you're on trial now in public opinions. I, you ain't about a bit. You are, oh, you are a... Oh, I can't even go into what I really want to say without making myself look bad on this platform. So we're just going to say he's double-minded. He's not to be trusted. Um, it's just going to be a hung jury of a trial. I don't know. <laughs> on too much ball of confusion just a lot of hot mess hot air man i'm like oh i wouldn't leave you with your own door
you really want to know. I just want to leave you with your own daughter, your family, your wife, any of your relatives because you're double-minded. And that's in the Bible. Anybody that's double-minded cannot be trusted. Okay? And not, he's not a God. Oh, man. Oh, my. Woo. Anyway, y'all tell me what y'all thought about this article, all this backbiting, all this pulling back, all this retraction, all this man just quitting on the spot, you know, like, no, you got fired, you didn't quit, okay? You sabotaged your own career, you said the wrong thing, okay? Can't pass, go, go to jail just for who you are as a human being. <laughs> Okay, y'all, y'all comment down below. Let me know how y'all felt about it, okay? Because y'all know how I feel about it. And maybe we have a meetings of the mind. Maybe not, but you have an opinion. I have an opinion. And that's where we're going to leave it. See you next video, guys. Bye-bye.